So this move made me turn pro, and it's what we see the recent Open champion Xander Shoffley do and former Open champion Podrake Harrington do. Now, this was a way for me to implement drills that I've talked about on the channel, which really was instrumental for me becoming a professional, and then get it to implement onto the golf course. So what it was is what I call the lift and slam. So it's where when I turn up to the top of the swing, I lift up my left foot and slam it down as I'm still in the back swing. And it just helps me get that kinetic chain and kinetic energy going into that lead side and then massively help me with power. So power being one huge one helps me with quality of strike. Because if I'm getting that weight into that left side where for me with my disability that I have, cerebral palsy, I can struggle to get into that left side. So it helps me with ball striking because that left side getting that weight shift will help low point get after the golf ball to hit really good strikes, just like that. And it really helps me with awesome compression. I used to really struggle with at times, falling back, absolutely lofting the club. And this just keeps everything moving up there. So lift it up and slam it down creates really nice striking like that. So if any of you struggle with those issues, that's gonna be an awesome move for you to do. Because like I said for myself, I was doing drills a ton like this, like the step through drill, which is absolutely awesome to get the feeling of that weight transferring. And even ones which was kind of like my bridge between that and the golf course, other than this other move, was pause at the top and then move down and through so I could feel that initial weight movement getting into that left side. So this was something again with my former coach that we really devised in there, just lifting that foot up and slamming it down. Just made it almost foolproof and I did that in my routine. So I would go on the golf course and I would do that exact same thing, my pre-shot routine, just lift it up and move through and lift it up and move through. And then get into the shot and sometimes I would feel like I was still doing it by keeping the foot down or I'll do this other move here, which would be lifting up the left heel and then slamming it back down before I even get, of course, to completion of that backswing. So this is a way to then get from there of practice of lifting and slamming, which we'll talk about a good routine to do for this, but then getting it into the golf course. Cause I'm not like Padre Harrington who did that lift and slam out in competition. Unbelievable how he can do that confidently. I never could. So that's where my well, coach, he was saying, okay, to get that onto the course, lift up that left heel, slam it down before you get to the top of the backswing. Replicates that exact same lift and slam. So that was a way where I would have that trigger on every shot. As soon as I took that club back, as I got past takeaway, my left heel would lift up. I'll get that lifting up move. So then all I need to think of is quickly get it back down again. <laughs> and just like you could see from that strike, which you could see from all the rain that happened last night from it. You could see that nice water come up, but it got me doing that exact move. But you wanna be careful as well, guys. Don't lift it up way too much, because the more you lift it up, the more you have to slam it back down again. So you have more movement. So I liked doing it just a little bit, which has really helped with gaining more hip turn as well. I used to struggle with getting a nice full turn of the hips. So when you lift up that left heel, it enables you to turn and rotate better into that trail side. Oh, it's a good strike. And then that's of course gonna give you more power just from doing that alone. So how do we do this in a practice routine? So when we're doing this as a practice routine, I like to blend in, of course, the heel slam, lift and slam, but also at the end of a set of balls, I will do the more course orientated move of just lifting up that heel and slam it back down. So I would hit seven balls doing lift and slam. So seven balls, lift and slam, and then three balls after that, so sets of 10 balls, I would do lift and slam. So lift the heel, then slam. So, okay, now let's say this is the, the seventh one, so I'm going into those last three. And then once I've done those three, I'll go straight back to doing the lift and slam. So this was me after doing that step through drill I've talked about before on the channel, and after doing a little bit of the pause at the top, something I've always been continuously working on with my own golf swing, because like I said, my cerebral palsy really prevents me at times, if I'm not working on this type of stuff, of getting that weight into that left side. It will take me forever. If I lift up that left heel, if I'm not practicing, it will take me forever to get it back down again. I'll be almost at shaft parallel before that heel slam back down, 
where's the kinetic energy then? Where's that weight shift? It's not ultimately gonna be there. Then I have to get fiery with the arms to get through it, which is not good for consistency. So working in a way like this, where you're making sure you're doing seven, just like that. Don't think I've hit a bad shot yet doing that, guys. And then, of course, then you'll do three, lift up the hill, then slam it down to replicate that same feel. And like we said, if you wanna get good compression, good power, getting everything onto that left side really nicely, that kinetic energy firing through towards the target. Of course, good ball and turf contact. This is gonna be awesome for you. I think every golfer out there can work on this for their golf game and improve a ton. So good evergreen type of thing for everyone to do. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction, just like this, hit a subscribe button, hit that bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video.